Chloe. Today, we're in Southeast Arizona, and we're looking for fire agates. All this land you see behind me is loaded, and we're only like 100 foot from where we parked. Check it out. <coughs> right where we're standing, I was like, hey, we'll do our intro, and look at this, already color on the ground. Check it out. I haven't touched it. Look at that, awesome orange. Now, this isn't fire agate, this is just nice and colorful agate, but look at the beautiful color, the Botroidal formations. We're gonna have a great time today. You guys are gonna be able to join us. Let's find them. This location is referred to as the Round Mountain Rock Count Area, and it's located near Duncan, Arizona. BLM directions will take you here. And you wanna go through this sign here, it's called the Lazy Bee Ranch. It looks private, but this does get you to the BLM land. Follow the signs and just drive down the road a little ways and you'll see another sign. It'll tell you exactly where you're at at the Round Mountain and check it out. Go ahead and sign in to this book so they'll know where you're at. So today for this, I'm gonna resort back to the super stylish fanny pack as you know it. You can see we're not that far from where you park and there's multiple locations all around here. We're gonna go check out one further later on, so stick around. Frank over here collecting, what'd you find? A little bit of agate and a nice cow bus. All right, we found a pretty good spot. You guys, look at this. We'll just crawl along here on the ground and you can see it's actually everywhere you look sometimes. All of this, look at all of this. Most are just a milky color with a slight translucence. Really gotta get close to the ground. I mean, you can sort of see them from up high, but when you really get down here, look, they just start popping up. Look at how rare that one is. <laughs> nice. There we go, look at that. You can see the Betroidal just sitting there, chilling out. It's got a tiny bit of fire, not much. But look, these are so cool. And there's just so much material. Oh, there we go, look at that. A little bit of fire on that, tiny bit. In them. You can find these pieces of calcity all over the ground. I really enjoy the waxiness and the way it's got this wavy shape. What? Getting pretty far from the vehicles and I've come across some kind of habitat here. I don't know what they are, but look, they have kicked up a lot of stuff. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Sweet. Look at that. Just sitting right there. It's kind of like an eye. Starting to see more of these Betroidal formations. Really nice. Wait a minute. What is Betroidal? A Betroidal texture or mineral habit is one in which the mineral has a globular external form resembling a small bunch of grapes. I see a lot of rocky area. And that seems to be the best here for the most stuff. Walking over, and there's stuff everywhere, but I want to show you. Look at this. I could see it from on the ground there. Look, it's got some really quartz druzy in the center. So you can see the RV way over there, and you can see Dylan way over there. And right here, you guys, we haven't even gotten out to the spot yet to where you're supposed to go. And look at this, we just pulled over and looked off the side of the road and there's agate everywhere. Look at this, you see it? All this, I mean, this is crazy town. Oh, that was pretty cool. It's got a little color there. But you guys, I had no clue. Look at that, that little betroidal. 
What? Sweet. I had no idea that it was going to be this good. Look at this. I'm just going to follow this path here where the water was flowing. This is just incredible. Look at this. This is the biggest. I'm not sure we'll have to clean it up, but look at that. There's some color. Definitely a keeper just from the sheer size. And look at this. You know, where this water, even these milky ones are cool. But where this rain run off, it really puts them in a uh, section here. Look at that. Oh, it's always cool finding these botroidal. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Tiny. Look at those bubbles. So cool. All right. Put it in, drop it in the fanny pack. And we're getting way out here see this and I was like there's no way that's water what is this this is molasses dude molasses yeah it's what you feed cows oh all right so Frank the farmer says this is molasses, molasses. so what they dump it out here yeah it's for cows and they just come and lick it we didn't know what this was look it looks wet and it's like, ugh. Yeah, if you pull it, then smell it. And it's smell it. Dang. <laughs> Dude, it looks like melted chocolate. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, the cows will lick it. Little baby cow, boy. Well, we got to this gulf right here. I don't think the RV is going over. We're going to go back the other way. That camping couple says they know a really awesome spot. Let's check it out. Starting to get dark. We're going to check out another spot, pull out the headlamps. Frank says that you can find them really well like that. I think we're going to even camp out tonight. So we got a fire moon. And it's only got to mean one thing, that we're going to find some fire agates tonight, right on the ground. We got this crazy moon coming up. Over here, we got this crazy camping couple. I mean, that camping couple. And then we got Dylan, the nephew, hanging out. So they're way up there. And I look down, check it out. It's got some really cool betroidal. Look at that right there nice so Frank just found this obsidian point look at that that's sweet on, but I'm pretty sure in it. this state he can't keep it right yeah if it's on BLM look at that clear <laughs> oh man he got to sleeve it alright look we'll stick it right next to the hole right here <laughs> Look at that ant. He's like, yeah, what a find. Look at that. He's like, Dude, this is crazy. Nice. He's got the protection. Look at that. He really's checking that out. Yeah, he is. He likes it. Dude. He'll probably take it down Perfect. home. Perfect. Good. We dropped it off at the right spot. All right. <laughs> well, let's get her done. And keep digging. Look at that. They are here. There. Look at that. These almost remind you of the goji berries. Check that out. Oh, sweet. And I just found a really cool. <laughs> I was just messing around, dude. It about got me. <laughs> oh man, I just wanted to tap him so he'd you know take off. And Where's he at? He didn't run. He turned around. He was about to. <laughs> no, nah, dude. Watch. He'll, watch, oh, it. watch out. Get back. Get back. Get back. Good gosh. <laughs> we don't need a, a right. sting on the nose, a bite on the nose. 
Look at the Frank's over here claiming he's got green. <laughs> I don't believe it. Right there on the end of my thumb, you can see it flashing. Let me see. Let me see. Dude. It looks a little it. yellow. Oh, yeah. you got to dremel it down. You got to polish it a little bit. <laughs> you see any green, Dylan? I don't Maybe. know. <laughs> Wow, this is, look at this. Look at all this. This is a good spot. We walked for about a mile, and there was nothing, you guys. And I kept telling them, there's nothing. <laughs> then, boom. And these three pieces were just all right there. Really spectacular the way you got all the neat, vibrant colors in these small pieces of agate. That's fire agate. Dude, squish it. It's a beetle butt. Look at that. It's got some decent little color. Maybe a tiny bit of fire. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Hold up. Yeah, that's the fire we are looking for right there. Getting there. Dog. Hey yo, you might want to come see this one. <laughs> All right. Look, you can see a fire from here. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Look, it's got druzy and a little bit of fire crawling around on a black widow eating something having some dinner so you want to watch out if you're out here this is i think the third black widow i've seen so watch where you're putting those hands probably should have wore some gloves nice oh another black widow this is crazy this might be the fifth or sixth one I've seen. You guys watch out if you come out here for real. All right, so it's midnight. I'm still finding them left and right. But my headlamp's about to go out. So I'm gonna have to get on back. And let's see what these look like all cleaned up. Okay, y'all, I just wanna mention before we check out everything cleaned, if you go through Duncan, which you probably will, check out this rock shop. It's a cool place. Me and Dylan had a good time talking with the owner. All right, y'all, check them out. This is the top grade from the day and the night of digging. Probably seven or eight hours worth of digging, non-stop. These are not wet or polished, but you can still see some of the Beautiful colors. Check the difference out. You actually see the fire being revealed in some of these. All right, guys, what you'll notice, you can see the difference here. Like, look at that piece. You can see the fire, which is almost like an iridescent color. Not in all of these, and some like that one We'll need polishing, you can see. Some to the left have a little bit of fire. I'd say maybe 10 or 15 pieces have fire here. So I picked out most of pieces that had fire and you can see at different angles, especially while wet here, you can see some of that color showing through. We'll have to polish or further process these, which I will be doing a further video showing all of that. Here you can see some of my favorite Betroidal pieces. Remember those looking sort of like grapes as Matrix is over here. What's going on, boy? And there were, of course, lots and lots of really interesting pieces like these where I guess the agate and the chalcedony both collided in a dream world to make some beautiful stuff. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful day. What I'd like to try is to put some of these in a tumbler 
and see how they do and then manually hand polish some especially these so be sure to subscribe for that video later what what an awesome day you guys check out this place and check out the ebay store ultra rocks facebook page and the crystal clubhouse on facebook what